Picture this, it's 1953, and the glimmering lights of the silver screen are casting their enchanting glow upon a world eager for glamour and escapism. Enter Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, a cinematic masterpiece that left an indelible mark on the hearts of those lucky enough to witness its magic. As the credits rolled and Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell took center stage, audiences were transported to a realm where elegance met humor and where diamonds were not just a girl's best friend but an emblem of desire and dreams. Can you recall the first time you were captivated by Monroe's iconic rendition of diamonds or a girl's best friend? Perhaps it was the mischievous sparkle in her eye or the effortless grace with which she charmed her way through a world obsessed with glitz and allure. Or maybe it was Russell's sassy wit, a perfect foil to Monroe's ethereal charm, creating a dynamic duo that etched itself into the tapestry of cinematic history. Now, let's set the stage for a journey down memory lane, sprinkled with some delightful tidbits about the making of this timeless classic. Behind the scenes, the film's production was a whirlwind of creativity, with director Howard Hawks orchestrating a symphony of talent that brought Anita Lou's novel to life. Did you know that the iconic pink dress Monroe wore during her performance was specially designed to highlight her every move, adding an extra layer of allure to the already mesmerizing scene? As we delve into these fascinating facts, let the nostalgia of that era wash over you and relive the charm and sophistication that gentlemen prefer blondes exuded from every frame. From the glitzy costumes to the witty dialogue, every element of this cinematic gem reflects an era of elegance and style that continues to captivate audiences even today. So, here's to the magic of gentlemen prefer blondes and the timeless allure of Monroe and Russell. As we uncover the hidden gems of trivia about this classic, let the memories of that first encounter resurface, like a cherished melody playing in the background of your cinematic journey. And now, without further ado, let's unravel some delightful, random facts about this cinematic masterpiece. A glimpse behind the curtain that adds an extra layer of enchantment to the film we all know and love. Marilyn Monroe's rise to stardom in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes in 1953. 20th Century Fox originally intended Gentlemen Prefer Blondes as a star vehicle for Betty Grable. However, after the success of Niagara, featuring Marilyn Monroe, the studio reconsidered. Monroe emerged as a more potent and cost-effective sex symbol, earning $18,000 per picture compared to Grable's $150,000. One standout scene in the film involves Dorothy estimating $15,000 for Lorelei's tiara. Adjusted for inflation, that's approximately $146,000 in 2021. This not only reflects the extravagance depicted in the movie, but also underscores the shifting economic landscape over the decades. In a revealing 1999 interview on Scene by Scene with Mark Cousins, Jane Russell disclosed a behind-the-scenes incident. Co-star Tommy Noonan openly expressed his discomfort kissing Marilyn Monroe on set. Monroe, overhearing his comments, burst into tears and sought refuge in her dressing room. It took considerable effort from the crew to coax her out, shedding light on the vulnerability of even the most iconic figures in Hollywood. The dynamics on set offer a glimpse into the interpersonal challenges faced during the making of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Monroe's emotional response to Noonan's candid admission showcases the pressures and sensitivities that permeated the golden age of Hollywood. In conclusion, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes not only marks Marilyn Monroe's ascendancy, as a Hollywood sex symbol but also reveals the nuanced relationships behind the scenes, capturing the essence of an era where appearances often belied the complexities within. The unlikely friendship in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes in the 1953 movie Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, gossip columnists tried to fan the flames of a feud between Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell. However, the reality was quite different. Russell, in her autobiography, revealed that the pair got along famously, and she attributed their fast friendship to sharing the same zodiac sign, Gemini. At the time, Russell, married to Robert Waterfield, and Monroe, dating Joe DiMaggio, found common ground despite their different relationships. In a conversation, Monroe inquired about Russell's experience being married to an athlete. Russell's response was simple, other than athletes spending a lot of time with each other, it was great. Contrary to the rumored discord, the bond between Monroe and Russell was genuine, with astrology serving as an unlikely bridge between the two iconic actresses. Their camaraderie debunked the attempts of gossip columnists to manufacture a Hollywood rivalry. 
This behind-the-scenes friendship adds a layer of authenticity to the on-screen chemistry that captivated audiences and gentlemen prefer blondes. The genuine connection between Monroe and Russell remains a testament to the unpredictability of Hollywood relationships, often defying the narratives crafted by the media. Gentlemen prefer blondes, unscripted splash, and musical echoes in 1949. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes hit the stage at the Ziegfeld Theater, propelled by Carol Channing's performance, running for a substantial 740 performances. This Broadway success had roots in a 1928 play, albeit with a more fleeting stint of 128 performances. Fast forward to 1953, and the iconic film adaptation emerged, bringing forth unintended moments that left a lasting imprint. One such instance occurs during the Ain't There Anyone Here for Love sequence where Jane Russell's plunge into the pool was, in fact, an accident. Director Howard Hawks, however, decided to preserve the unscripted moment, integrating it into the final cut. This impromptu splash became a memorable highlight of the film, showcasing the spontaneity that sometimes elevates cinema beyond the planned script. The film's musical landscape resonates with Bye Bye Baby, a song that echoed beyond the silver screen. Originally featured in the movie, this track found its way into the charts, maintaining a solid presence for over six weeks. Various singers in the 1950s lent their voices to this enduring melody, turning it into a musical staple of the era. In the grand tapestry of gentlemen prefer blondes, these elements converge to paint a picture of unexpected moments and musical reverberations. From the serendipitous pool plunge to the enduring chart presence of Bye Bye Baby, the film's legacy is not just scripted brilliance, but also unscripted magic. This snapshot of the film's history captures the essence of entertainment, where unplanned events and enduring tunes shape the narrative. In Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, the unexpected is woven into the fabric of the film's charm, making it a timeless piece of cinematic history. As the dazzling curtains fall on our journey through the cinematic brilliance of 1,953 seconds, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, let the echoes of Marilyn's sultry tunes and Jane's comedic charm linger in the corridors of your imagination. Like diamonds sparkling against a midnight sky, this iconic film invites you to a world where glamour and wit dance in perfect harmony. As you reflect on the golden age of Hollywood, take a moment to ponder the resonance of Lorelei and Dorothy's adventures in your own narrative. Has the allure of diamonds ever beckoned you to venture into a world of sophisticated mischief? Or perhaps you find solace in the timeless melodies that transcend the boundaries of eras. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share your cherished memories, the laughter that still echoes in your heart, or the way Marilyn's grace and Jane's wit left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. Dive into the conversation and let the magic of gentlemen prefer blondes weave its threads into the tapestry of your own experiences. In this digital age, your voice is the director's cut, shaping the narrative of this classic tale. Connect with fellow enthusiasts, unravel the layers of nostalgia, and celebrate the enduring allure of a film that continues to capture hearts across generations. Thank you for joining us on this enchanting voyage into the allure of gentlemen prefer blondes. Your presence adds a sparkle to the grandeur of this timeless gem. Until we meet again on another cinematic odyssey, keep the spirit of classic Hollywood alive in your heart. Lights dim, curtain falls, and the credits roll until next time.